Hello and welcome to my channel. I plan to record my journey towards fire, financial independence, and retire early in this channel. Currently, I mainly focus on sharing my Canadian dividend stock investment journey and those stocks in my portfolio. This is the way that let money works for you and generate more money. In the future, I will also add contents introducing products that saves you money. So if you are interested in these topics, hit the like button to let me know. Subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification to get the latest update. And now, Let's get started. The company we are looking at today is Sun Life Financial Inc., which is a Canadian financial services company. It is primarily known as a life insurance company. Sun Life is one of the largest life insurance companies in the world, and it is also one of the oldest one, with a history spanning back to 1865. Sun Life not only has business in insurances, but also has business in asset management which diversify their incomes. And if we look at their business groups, we can see Sun Life have businesses in the US, in the UK, in Canada, as well as in Asia for their insurance businesses. And they also have a large portion for asset management. And currently, they have 1.25 trading assets under management. So we can tell not only their business type is diversified, but also they are diversified geographically. And Sun Life also have a pretty strong financial performance in the past few years. If we look at its five-year total shareholder return, we can tell that actually Sun Life has a better return than the TSX financial sector as well as the TSX composite. And if we look at the dividend, in the past five years, Sun Life have been keep increasing their dividend year by year at a compound annual growth rate of 8% which is good news for us dividend investors. What's even better is that we can tell that their net income is also increasing year by year in the past 12 years, and they have been keep increasing their sales both in the insurance as well as their wealth and assets management. This shows that this company have a pretty strong performance in their businesses. If we look at Sun Life's dividend paying history, at 2000, they start to pay a dividend of $0.12 per share, and we can see that as time goes by, they are keep increasing their dividend year by year, and they have been consistently increasing their dividend until this year. So in 2021, now they are paying $0.55 per share. So I consider this as a good record for Sun Life, because we know that if a company has been paying and keep increasing their dividend year by year for 10 years, then they become a dividend achiever. So from this perspective, we find that Sun Life has been paying and increasing their dividend for more than 20 years. So obviously, Sun Life is already a dividend achiever. So the next milestone for Sun Life is to be a dividend aristocrat, which means they need to keep paying and increasing their dividend for continuously 25 years and I don't think that will be far. And I think that by increasing their dividend year by year, Sun Life are building confidence in their investors, and if they stop increasing their dividend, they lose their 20 years record, and they need to start over if they want to be a dividend achiever or dividend aristocrat in the future. So from this perspective, I believe that Sun Life will keep increasing their dividend year by year. So this will definitely be a good dividend stock. The current stock price of Sun Life Financial is $65.7 per share. And we can see the market cap of Sun Life is around $38 billion, which is quite huge. The beta value of Sun Life is 1.01, which means it is not a very volatile stock. Usually a beta value smaller than one means that a stock is less volatile than the average stock market, and a beta value higher than one means that this is a stock that is more volatile than the average market. And the beta value of Sun Life is nearly exactly 1. The P-E ratio of Sun Life is 13.06, which is under 20, so this is also a good value. And if we look at the 5-year average P-E ratio for Sun Life, it's around 13.21, and the current P-E ratio is still lower than the 5-year average meaning now is still not a bad time to buy in this stock. The dividend of Sun Life is $2.2 per share per year, and Sun Life pays a quarterly dividend. 
which means you will receive your dividend four times a year. The dividend yield currently is around 3.39%, which is not a bad value. The payout ratio of Sun Life is 43.75%. Basically, payout ratio tells you how much money this company are using to pay dividend as of their earnings. And usually we want to see that the payout ratio is lower than 75%, which means the dividend paid by this company is sustainable and has the potential to be keep increasing. Additionally, we can also find that the current price of Sun Life is far below its fair value, which means Sun Life is undervalued. So this tells us there is still a great space for Sun Life's stock price to increase. What makes us even more confident in Sun Life is that we can see that in the past few months, Sun Life Insiders have only been bought more shares of this company's stock. If the insiders are believing in their companies, that's definitely a good news for us retail investors. Needless to say, the Sun Life have a pretty experienced leadership team with an average tenure of 3.3 years. And their board members are also experienced with average tenure of 5 years. Currently in my portfolio, I hold 6 shares of Sun Life, and their total value is around $400. My average buying price is $63.61, and Sun Life have taken up around 3.28% of my entire portfolio. So far, my all-time return on Sun Life is around 3.28% up, meaning that I have earned $12.53 from it. Personally, I recommend this stock to dividend investors because we can see that they have been keep paying and increasing their dividend for over 20 years. And also, in the past 5 years, its total return has performed better than the TSX financial sector and also the TSX itself. So, no matter from what perspective, I think this is a good stock. So, what do you think of Sun Life? Do you already have Sun Life in your portfolio? Or after watching my video, are you thinking about buying Sun Life or put it in your watch list? If you have any thought, feel free to share it in the comment to discuss with me. Thanks for watching my video. If you like it, hit the like button to let me know. If you are looking for a zero commission fee platform to invest stocks, I recommend you Wealth Simple Trade. If you are looking for high interest saving account, Wealth Simple Cash offers 0.77% interest and EQ Bank offers you 1.25% interest, which are all higher than the big banks. Check out my referral links in the description to get a referral bonus when opening these accounts. Thanks again for watching my video, and I'll see you in my next video.